Some rags like Bhoop and Malkaus are considered to be big rags even though they only have five notes in them. Uh, can you please explain what makes a rag big? Is it the number of swar or some other factors that um, that cause them to be considered to be big rags? Yes, your question is absolutely right. We call some rags as big while some others as small. I am going to try and answer your question in two parts. You know, part one will focus on what is meant by a big rag and a small rag. And then in part two of the answer, which will be a longish answer, I will try and explain why this happens. The purpose of a performance of Indian classical music is to present a rag which means we develop a rag, we expand upon the rag and we use a composition, a bandish for this purpose. Using a bandish, we expand upon the rag. Now, how much the rag can be expanded and when I mean expansion or development, the entire development has to remain interesting. There should not be a repetition, you know, otherwise it will start to get boring. Keeping things interesting, how much can you expand a rag depends upon the structure of the rag, the notes within the rag and more importantly, the relationship between the notes of a rag. So more than the number of notes in a rag, as you said, Boop or Malcolms have only five notes in them, but then they are big. The relationship between these swara or notes is such that the raga can be expanded more. Whereas there, there could be a rag which has all these seven notes, but then you can't really expand it much, you know, so it will remain a small rag. For example, a rag like Basant or Bahar, it has all the notes, sounds very good also, but then you can't expand it much. A very direct effect of this is when you start with a big rag you would normally begin a performance with a, a very slow tempo composition or bandish a vilambit bandish followed by a, a tutta or fast tempo bandish whereas a small rag could begin straight away with a with a fast bandish again, again a big rag will normally be the first rag of a performance because it can be expanded a lot. It can, it can be developed over a longer period. So that is what a big rag and a small rag is. Now let us move on to the second part of my answer to this question. Why does this happen? What is that special relationship which is required for a rag to be more expanded? The very basic concept of rag is based upon the principle of harmony and we call that samvad in Indian music. If any two swara or musical notes have a relationship between them such that they sound the, the p or the m or in some cases the g of another note then the combination sounds very sweet and pleasurable to the ear. So let's see uh, what I mean by this. So if this is my sa, this is my pa. Sa pa. Then sa ma. Or, as I said, sa ga. So, any two swara having this relationship. So, for example, if I now take this note, which is the re actually, re, then its pa is the dha. Re, the or sa, pa. That means between the re and the dha, 
there is a relation which is equivalent to sa and pa then re pa or sa ma and this could happen with any swara so you take any swara and then its pa and the ma or in some cases the ga is going to sound very beautiful and this relationship then can be exploited you know to to make designs and make and expand upon the rag with this understanding let us take the example of malcolms and see you know why malcolms is such a big rag yes so the notes of malcolms are the komal gandhar ma madhyam da komal dhaivar the komal nishad ni and then the sa now let us check each of these notes if i take the dha dha sa is sa ga sa ga dha ga dha ga is sa pa sa pa then ni ga is sa ma sa ma nima is sa pa sa pa then the, if i move to the sa sa ma is of course sa ma then if i move to the gandhar gadha is sa ma and gani is sa pa then i move on to the madhyam mani is sama and masa is sapa so in effect what is happening is you take any two notes and they would seem to be the sapa or sama or in some cases saga of each other which means that you have innumerable pairs to choose you know to 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 develop you exploit the the sharja pancham or the sharja madhyam bhav as we call it and develop uh, and expand upon the rag so essentially to summarize it is the sharja pancham or sharja madhyam relationship or bhav which is at the root of expanding a rag and the more number of pairs you find within the structure of a rag to exploit this the bigger the rag will be Oh